Hey there, it's Chris Betcher here, and I just wanted to explain a little new thing that's in Google Sites. This is the new version of Google Sites. At first, I didn't quite get what this was about, and then I figured it out, and I thought I may as well share it with you guys in case you're also wondering. Um, so this is a Google Site that uh, has been made. You can see over here on the side, we've got the Pages tab, and this is a number of pages. And you'll notice that most of the, the um, sections in here, each one of these sections is a link to, um, to a page. Uh, and the pages are listed here, and you'll see they all have fairly long names. You know, this bring the world into your classroom with Google Geo tools, or putting Google Forms to work in your school. They're, they're quite longish names for these sessions, and so, of course, the pages are quite longish names. So that means that if we were to just publish this site, and uh, just let that do its thing for a moment, and then go and view that site, you'll notice that if we were to go to click on this link, for example, this link that says more, um, down in the bottom of the screen down here, uh, you'll notice that it actually has the full URL written there. And because the name of the page is quite long, getting the most out of Google Classroom, the URL also says getting the most out of Google Classroom. It's quite a long URL if you ever wanted someone to type that, for example. So, uh, just close this up again and go back to the um, editable version. Um, what they've got now is this thing when you create a new page, let's just create a new page here. Add new page, and let's just say we wanted to create a new page on here. It was called something like, uh, see, it's even too long to read. Ten awesome ways you can use Google Keep with your students. Now, if we just say done, we're going to get a page where the URL is, you know, sites.google.com slash blah, 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 slash ten amazing ways to use Google Keep with your students. And that's a really long URL. So what you can do is click on this advanced tab here, and you can give this what's called a custom path. So, um... I might call this something simple, 10 ways for keep, okay, which is a lot shorter. I could just call it keep, I could call it 10 ways, you call it whatever you like, but you can keep it short. Uh, now when you say done, and you see it's just published that page there, okay, so you can see it's listed up here in the top. Now if I were now to go and um, publish this page, and then view the site now, You'll see the link to that, which is just hiding up here because I haven't put it anywhere else right now. When I go over there, you'll see now the URL is called 10 Ways for Keep, even though the page is called 10 Awesome Ways You Can Use Google Keep with Your Students. So that's what the custom page thing is about. It's just giving you a shorter URL. Hope that helps.